Happy Thanksgiving 2018. I am now going to make the uh, the stock for the uh, making the gravy. And what I do is in the pot already, I have half of a large onion, two large um, carrots chopped up. The onion is a rough chop. It's not a, a fine dice. And the celery, what I do with the celery is I take the tops off the celery, leaf and all. And that will add flavor. And over here, <coughs> I have chicken gizzards. This is to add flavor to. Uh, it's a little over a pound. This is 1.32 pounds. You can put a pound in, chop it up. Okay. Another thing is inside my turkey, I have the neck and the uh, heart and everything else. I'll be taking that out. I'll wash off the. Uh, well, you don't really have to wash the turkey because uh, when you bake. When you roast it, it uh, comes up to temperature, it kills everything. So I'll be doing that. Let me get out the, uh, the uh, turkey here and do that. Now, I took the bird out of the packaging. This contains the, uh, the giblets, the liver, the heart, kidneys, the neck. And what I'll do with this is I put it in the pot have that ready to go now I take the the, uh, the gizzards here put those in everything is for flavor here I don't really save this to eat uh, in the pot and what I'll do next is uh, I have to slice open the package here and the heart I'm going to cut the heart open it's very muscular there we go is the kidneys they have a lot of fat on them so I have to uh, trim that up trim off the fat and cut them open they're very tough the Okay, throw that in, and the liver, just put that in. Now I'll wash my hands, give them the rinse, run the cold water. <coughs> so, what I do is I fill up the pot. And that's about it. And I put this on the stove top and I put it to about medium heat. This will come up and boil. I let it I let it cook down for a long time. So that will be uh, cooking on the stove top. Oh we're ready to take off the uh, the stock that I made for the gravy. And pour it in here and let it drain. <coughs> and 
Now this has been on for many hours. The gizzards are very tender. Um, that's how you do it. Um, you can add water to this because it's very concentrated. And we still have to add in the, uh, from the turkey, we have to add in the, uh, the drippings from there. So we have to wait. Now I'm gonna take the, uh, the drippings and strain it out here. And what I have to do is separate the fat from the juice. So, put that in. Okay. Now, <coughs> you can see the, the fat on top. And what I usually do is I take a, a big ladle and I put it in and this is all the oil. So I want to get rid of that. Okay. And that should do it. Okay. Now we take this and we'll put it in with the stock that I made. Is I'm gonna pour in some water because it's very thick. Now I'm gonna put in some seasoning which I didn't do in the beginning because it's not necessary. It's just necessary at the very end to put the seasoning in. Some pepper, salt. Of course we have to adjust this. So that's in there. Now what I'll do is I have a, a wand blender and I'll bring this over put it on the high heat <coughs> and I have flour here and what I do is I thicken it up you should always sift the flour because if you don't do this you gotta have lumps in the gravy. Now I used about a quarter cup of flour. Okay. So we have to let that heat up. And we'll see how thick it gets. That's all. Now this is the completed gravy. We had a little bit of a boil over. But that's okay. And that's how it looks. Like I said, you season it to taste. Uh, you know, salt, pepper. I, I don't like too much salt, others like more salt.